watched you play every game that you, you guys as a team realize how close it's been. It seems like just one little thing has been off, like this last game, uh, you know, Anthony's got the flu and, and Rayshon's had some migraines and just, uh, how frustrating has it been to just get everything together for one game? It seems like that, that hasn't happened yet, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't even say frustrated. I mean, it's life. Life gives you some obstacles. You gotta be able to deal with those obstacles in life. And I just think same thing in basketball. At the end of the day, it's a game and you're having fun. But it is unfortunate that some of those guys can't play to their 100% uh, effort or as good as they are. But we have players um, outside of Ray Sean and Ant that are good and they can step up and make those contributions, um, which they did. Um, a lot of guys stepped up off the bench, played meaningful minutes, and uh, it helped us keep that game close. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, it, didn't, it didn't fall in our favorite um, last game. But uh, yeah, you're pretty. You're, sorry, you're a pretty upbeat guy. Have you tried to kind of boost uh, Ray's spirits when he's been? Uh, you know, he said he was going through a slump. I know he had a better game the other night. Um, mm -hmm. Have you tried to kind of keep him high energy? Yeah, yeah. Ray, Ray's a, he's a confident guy. I mean, he's just hard on himself because he know how good he can be. Um, I mean, you, you always try to encourage your teammates to say, hey, bro, you're good. Like, don't even worry about it. Um, basketball, the, if you put the work in basketball, I mean, it will turn to favor. When you put a lot of work in, you work on your craft every single day. Um, it might not show in the, the next night, but over the time, I mean, good things are going to happen for you. And he knows that. He's a hard worker. He's always in the gym watching film. Um, he's he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna just going to be okay. Yeah. You mentioned those guys not feeling one hundred percent. You were just hurt yourself a couple weeks ago. How has that like recovery looked like? And do you feel like you're at one hundred percent again? Oh uh, yeah, I'm getting better. I'm getting better each day. I used to have your bumps and bruises here and there, but um, I think I'm good. I think I'm I'm healthy enough to help affect the team and get back on a winning streak. Is there like a specific rehab process you've been going through? Or is it just kind of? I'm um, just everyday treatment, taking care of my body, taking care of the ankle, taking care of the shoulder. Um, just making sure everything is good. Yeah. You talk about affecting the team. You just reached 100 assists uh, for the season. Uh, mm -hmm. when I think only six freshmen, I think, to have done that. Uh, how big a deal is that for you to to have done that? How 100 assists right now at this point in the season? I mean, I guess that's a big deal. Um, I'm thankful, thankful to God for the for the opportunity, for the blessing. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's always been a part of my game, making everyone better. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, I have, I have I have players that can that can make that game easier by making shots, cutting mm -hmm. to the basket. Um, I know it's 100 assists, but I'd rather have a little more wins than 100 assists. So whatever mm -hmm. it takes to get another win, um, get us back on the right track, is, is what I'm looking for. I know uh, uh, when you signed with 